very often you get the opportunity to get your staff together, um, usually for reasons of discipline or direction, but what should be the first thing you say or what should be the main takeaway from any meeting with your staff? I'm fond of saying that you should meet with your staff to tell them good stuff more often, six times more often than you meet with them to tell them bad stuff. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a, a, a workplace boss to, to, front, to, to, re, to person reporting to you. It's a little bit like a marriage. If you're always criticizing, it's not going to last. But if for every criticism, this is based on research, yeah. you say six positive things in between, you have a great marriage. <laughs> so the same thing in workplaces. Yeah. Make sure that you praise yeah. meaningfully, not like, hey, you're a top blog. That's not praise. That just makes people, um, you know, comfortable and not productive. But tell them what they're doing well. I love the way you did that report. I love how you cross those T's or whatever it is, but give six times for every time that you got to tell them something like, hey, I noticed that you didn't say hello with a smile. Can you do that better next time? No problem. I got gotcha. you. Because I, I know you know I'm a top bloke. That's not a problem. But if I'm not sure of that, geez, am I doing anything right? So that's and what that I would do. And that ties in with what we often talk about is remember why you hired someone in the first place. Mm. You hired them because they had a skill set, because they had an attitude set. Remind yourself of that and then remind the person of that. You know, that's what you're here for. You're, you're contributing, you're offering value. You know, we all like to know that we're valuable, as in we contribute to this group. By the way, that sounds easy, yeah. but just ask any married person how easy it is. 